suppose, in Brian's absence. Uh, I've used to, whenever I've captain Ireland, I'm used to having him around. Uh, you know, he's, he's picked up an injury or whatever and he'd be around for the week. So it's, it's unusual not having him around camp. Um, but there is a lot of experience there now, you know, from the success of the provinces and success of the Irish team in recent years. Guys are used to winning high pressure games and there's a lot of uh, experience throughout the team now and we're probably in a better position than we were in the past to cope with it. it Brian's the kind of guy who'll just let guys get on with it anyway, you know, and, and I, I'd be the same, you know, there's enough experience here now um, for guys to be able to handle it and, uh, and get on with it and um, you know the way he used to do things was a lot of guys contributed to it. Um, I'd be similar and, and hopefully I, you know, I won't be doing a whole lot different to what, I, to what I was doing when Brian was here anyway. You know, I would have always had plenty to say for myself, Johnny, Raj, uh, Rory Best, these guys would have always had plenty to say for themselves as well so hopefully that continues. Okay, uh, God the Father is missing, we'll have to do with God the Son so to speak in Paul O'Connell. The Ireland team, have a look at it. What You've got some problems with this. Uh, <laughs> I love it. I love the way you put words in my mouth. I, Would I? I, I, think it's in, I think it's interesting in this regard that there, there are two defections, um, but to injury, O'Driscoll, and, and for family reasons, uh, Keith Earls. Strangely enough, I think it strengthens the side. Um, one, I think O'Connell is a better captain than O'Driscoll. Uh, it strategically and I think that's very important in the second instance I have I think having a mid an all Leinster yeah, midfield plus 10 is sexton. a plus yeah. 10 12 13 yeah. defense is about knowing and trusting who's inside you and outside yeah. you I think that'll help having the three boys together it'll help McFadden who is short on international experience but having people inside him like that I think we've got st finally Trimble has been recognized I'm thrilled about that uh, and the pack is okay. And also Rob Carney, or uh, Dave Carney, who played superbly Wolfhounds, yeah, and is, is there. I, I, the, Huge the, talent coming There's down a there. slight mixed message for me, Tom, in the selection of 9 and 10. And George just talked then rightly about having players that you play inside and outside every week vis-a-vis uh, -vis now that McFadden is there. What I see is a mixed message in this. If you're going to play a Munster-type match, you surely play... Um, Murray and O'Gara. If you're going to play a Leinster type match, you're going to play Wren and Sexton because they play with each other each week. Now, technically, rightly, he's the coach, is going to say players should be able to fit seamlessly into every position, they should be able to play a team pattern. What I'm saying, and Connor knows, playing week in, week out with a player, knowing his strengths, knowing his weakness, is an advantage to me. Connor Murray, remember, this is what his first Six Nations start or whatever. Gatlin is going to target that. I think he needs a bit more experience outside him. And I don't disagree, you know, I agree with what George was saying about Sexton's play. I don't disagree with O'Gara playing some of these games if that is the best selection. No, I, 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 I think John Sexton is massively experienced at this stage and I, I don't think there's a, an issue. That, the, the team, when you look at it, picks itself. There's very, yeah. very little yeah. you can argue. Is that a good, good or a bad thing? Briefly? Well, it's not bad when you see the number of yeah. good young players that come okay. up. David Carney, Peter Armani. The one person that owes Declan Kidney massively right. tomorrow Don't is Donico Callaghan. Yeah.